Hey, buddy, I'm out here uh, in my kit in the bathroom, my mom's bedroom, bedroom bathroom type thing. And this old faucet is had it. It's uh, cracking up. It leaks. So what I'm going to do is can't really see under here. This uh, probably need a light to get up under there and see. But anyway, what I'm going to try to do. Is it leaks? I gotta shut the water off at night. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take it apart and put a new faucet in it. And hopefully, uh, you can see all this. It's in bad shape. So, anyway, I'm gonna take it apart. It leaks around the basin bottom there, it drips down. So, I gotta get that all fixed up. So, I will uh, come back. Okay, I took this piece out uh, this goes into the wall go up, up in here see it goes up into the wall here i don't know if you can see that or not and then it goes in there and then slides into this so i took that out and found out what our problem is it's just really old and so i got to go down and get this whole piece set up at the home depot they're closed now i talked to a guy he says we're looking for a trap kit uh, for the under sink connections. Well, that just might be it right there. Let's see. Well, that looks like it'll do it. Okay. Now, I don't know if your setup is going to be like this, but uh, I'm, just, I'm not crawling under there anymore. I'm going to work on it up here. I'm going to get that up there. And I'll get these lines off of there. Yeah, this, yeah you know. This one's this way. It's cold. pretty much it wasn't leaking was it I don't know if it wasn't for sure I just tightened them up by my fingers I don't think it was leaking okay I'm gonna get this off of here now the plunger man what a mess oh, man, that's just gonna break The whole faucet is turning. <laughs> That's what I was talking about doing, just breaking that thing apart. It's so cold and corroded. Just chop that thing off. Just gonna break the sink. This one's a deal. Oh, yeah, it looks better than that one. I have to grab the. Now you're into the corrosive stuff that should work. Fixing it with the long bros. It's been on there so long it's welded together. Put 
This is for the plunger, sink plunger. It's got that little ball on there. Beautiful stuff. <laughs> it's great. I'm just going to go out and grab this. Okay, we got this nut is so corroded and can't move it. I don't want to break my sink. So I'm going to cut that nut off. the rest of it off. This is when they made stuff to <laughs> but it was tough. There it goes. Need it anymore, I can tell you that. <laughs> oh my god, look at that thing. Gross. Now I need to clean this off so I get a good here, this goes over here too, seal. Though. That's beautiful. Lasted a long time, I imagine. This is their stuffing around the old newspaper. Probably put uh, so it wouldn't leak. Well, I just. Uh, I'll turn it back over. Well, I want to clean that off first. Okay. Now, this stuff here I got is Anvil. Anvil. It's a hospital cleaner. That's for our tattoo shop. It's supposed to kill all kinds of. I gotta get this off there too. Why is it you just buy a new sink. Well, I could. But I think I'll get it. The whole thing is turning. Might be easier to cut that off too. It's okay. It'll come. I 
nice hammer. There, did it. Push it up. Kick it. Show you, yeah, on that other, it up. show you on that other one, this comes off, screws up from this way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just got the, it's got to have it sealed down so it came up. Just break it. Don't need it. Oof. See, that unscrews. Yeah, and you're going to get a new one, so... <laughs> that is gross. Look at how. Ugh. That is about 90 years of crap. See this? See that seal that I've got seals right on there. I don't even know if that's going to fit all the way through there. Yeah, just get a new sink. Take this down like this. Get where it'll fit. But you're not going to use this one. Yuck! And that seals that down there. Yeah. I'm just wondering if that's pretty pretty deep. That's a deep thing. It's okay. It'll go through there. So hold on. I want to clean that out of there. job. That's why they pay the plumbers the big bucks. I put some of that plumber's uh, putty around that. That's what this was. <laughs> they did such a nice job you hate messing with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to put some putty around that. This needs to be cleaned off if I get something to screw, start screw on there. To be, I need a wire brush. I had to clean that off there. That's good, isn't it?
clean that up. Okay, I uh, cleaned that pipe threads. Never is easy. Okay, uh, I went to Home Depot and I bought some new plumbing parts for the sink. There's the old one and there's the new one on the end. The ring down there was for the uh, pipe that comes out of the wall for the exit water that goes out. And there's the old ring and there's the new ring. That's to replace it. There's the plumber's tape. There's the old plumbing. Like I said, there's the new uh, faucet or the sink plug and uh, the faucet itself and the uh, plunger to uh, plug the water out of the sink and so we're going to get started. So I'll be back in just a little bit and uh, we'll get started. Okay, what you're seeing here is uh, some stuff I bought from the Home Depot. And I'm having to do a voiceover because uh, something happened with the audio in the other soundtrack. Uh, it didn't record, so I'm just kind of going through it. You're not going to hear the bag crinkling up or anything like that. So what that is is a, uh, a faucet or a, under the faucet kit trap. And... Uh, there's the old one and uh, I took it out of the bag and uh, mashed it pretty good so it's uh, really close and so it's the same one so I had to go down like to Home Depot and do that so what I'm going to do is show you how to put it all together um, this uh, goes to the top piece I believe or to that no it don't go there it goes on the uh, pipe that comes out of the wall. So, um, just kind of seeing where things fit, how it's going to work, and explaining where that goes. There's the uh, for the uh, plunger for the sink. It goes down inside that pipe, and, uh, and then that goes into the sink itself for the uh, plugging the water up. Well, that's just kind of how that works. That goes in there like that. So, uh, to keep talking about the same little thing there is going to be kind of a difficult thing to do, but I'm just going to show you that that's where that stuff goes. All right. Now, I'm going to take it apart. Steve's looking at the package. That's where how that assembly goes it goes uh all right now let's see here what's steve gonna do this time he's looking at me and uh, i'm just talking and so i'm sorry about uh, the audio but uh this might be entertaining anyway so most of the time i pulled the sink off and i'm gonna try to put it all together over here probably show you a little bit on how to do it easier climbing under the sink and doing all this stuff would be I end up having to do that anyway but man that broke my neck doing this <laughs> uh, can't put that on top of the toilet that don't work this thing is a 1937 house or somewhere. It was built in the 30s. 
and uh, that old uh, trap kit I mean, that they had in there is so old. Was, look at that. Look at that. Um, that goes on that pipe. It comes through the wall and into the drain. See, I'm just to see if that's going to fit on there. I think it will. But I wasn't sure. But uh, anyway, it goes on there pretty good. That fit. Pipe goes in there, and then that has a washer in there that seals it. And you can get the picture <clears throat> that goes into the bottom of the uh, sink itself. You'll see how that assembly works in just a second here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the faucet on the sink and uh, show you kind of how that goes. And I cleaned all that up the night before. And uh, it was pretty messy, so you just want to make sure that you have a real clean surface here on that where that uh, faucet goes in. Make the good uh, flat so when you're washing your hands and stuff that the water don't go down in through those holes and get your uh, cabinet all wet underneath. So, uh, <clears throat> I got to find up, find the pieces that uh, screw underneath there. There they are, right there in that package. These are the nuts that screw onto the back, and you, t you just need to just finger tighten those real good. Pretty simple. You screw those on there. and just tighten them up with your fingers uh, that's all i did is just they have a uh kind of a little tool that they have to tighten these kind of things up uh, that you can buy a real long so when you're laying underneath under your under your sink you can reach up there with them and then they'll fit over those uh nuts and then you can tighten them down with that without taking your sink off like this I think I tighten it up a little bit more than that, but uh, just snug them up real good. There you go. Yeah, figured I did. Just snug it up to where it's real tight. You don't want to break them things. There's uh, for the uh, plunger. Now I kind of go through this, how to put this stuff together. You got to take the top off there. That's putty. That's called plumber's putty, that uh, that white stuff there, or that gray stuff, is plumber putty. Put a lot on there so when you tighten it down, it'll seal on the bottom of your sink hole. So use quite a bit of that. It'll squeeze out. It'll go down underneath there a little bit and kind of seal it underneath a little bit. So uh, when you've got your plug in and you fill your basin up with water, it won't leak. So screw it down pretty good, as much as you can, clear to the bottom of the sink. I was having a little trouble there uh, getting it started, but I do get it started and tighten it down. And then it'll flatten the putty out and it'll seal. You see how I'm doing that right there? Tighten it, tighten it, tighten it. Keep tightening it until it's flush to the bottom of the sink hole. Then you clean the existing putty out from around there. And then you should have a good seal. Because it smushes it out. And you know that you got plenty in there. See how it's smushing it out around the edges there? There you go. And then I'll clean it off. It's down there as tight as I can get it. 
there. See, I'm tightening it really tight with my hands as much as I can. Clean out the existing the leftover putty. I'm going to put that putty in the wall where that pipe comes out of the wall for the drain. I'll take that extra putty and put it in that around that pipe. Okay, there's the plungers in there. Now that's for the uh, uh, pull bar, or the pull rod that pulls the uh, plunger up and down. And I readjust that when it's un in the sink. The ball goes in there, it hooks on the the uh, plunge thing, you take the nut off there, put the little round thing in there with the rod and to the uh, plunger, the plug for the sink, which will make it go up and down so you can uh, pull it up to what, let the water out and Or push it down to let the water out and pull it up to plug uh, plug it. So that's what that is. That uh, little screw on the end there goes onto the down rod. You tighten it up on the on the rod that's on the top of the sink or the faucet. You tighten that screw up right in between there. There you go. That screw right there. And I couldn't finger tighten it, so I had to get a wrench to do that. So that's where the plug goes up and down. I have to tighten it down or it won't work. Again, I apologize for the uh, voiceover, but it does, it helps. I am got to watch this and talk about it a little bit and so I have to get a wrench and tighten that uh, screw down on that because it was pretty tight it wouldn't do it with fingers so I had to get a wrench to do that so I got me a crescent wrench and tightened it down but I think that's a 3 8 inch uh, wrench or a nut so it takes a 3 8 inch little wrench which I got later which helped me out a lot so I'm going to go get me a crescent wrench right now and then I'll be right back yeah Steve's doing a really good job of uh, filming so that helped out a lot because I couldn't film all this and do this myself so Anyway, there I got the crescent wrench, and I'm going to tighten that down on that uh, pull and push rod for the plunger. Okay, so that, and they give you a uh, kind of a slide nut. I guess you might want to call it a slide lock. I'll show you what that is in here in a minute. Let me put that on the so it doesn't the little rod that goes inside the uh, plug line. There's a little slide uh, clip that goes over the top of that so that it won't fall off of there when you're pulling it up and down to for your plug on the bottom of the basin. Silent movie sounds like, huh? Yeah, that's uh, the old time when they didn't have any sound. You had to do music behind there or something like that. Like Charlie Chaplin doing a little skit. No sound. Pretty interesting movies. I used to like watching those and Charlie Chaplin. Pretty funny. 
All right, so I've been fiddle farting around with that a while, trying to get the right place for it so it'll pull that up and push it down. It's just an adjustment thing, but it's best to work. Like I said, I got that on there, and then I had to redo it after I got it actually in the on top of the uh, sink cabinet. There it goes. See, that's that's how it works. And then. There's a little slide uh, lock, which is right there. And you gotta squeeze that together so it goes in there and it'll line up the line so it'll slide on there. Okay, now that that part's done, I'm gonna take it back over there and uh, I'm gonna put this cabinet back. Actually, I work on the plumbing part of it, I do believe. We'll see here. I don't know for sure. Tighten that up with a wrench because that, that thing was pretty tight. It just kind of wouldn't do it finger tight and it had to use a wrench. Okay, now I got that part done. I'm going to put the cabinet back over there. Make sure I don't hurt anything. It's, like I said, this uh, is really old stuff. This is an old... I'm going to slide it over the existing uh, hot and cold water lines. Make sure I don't break anything. I ended up taking that back off. I couldn't do the whole thing by using that in there like that. So a lot of it's just trial and error, what you got to do, this and that. So, I wanted to be careful not to break the plunge, the plunge, the plug line, plumbing. I want to break it so it wouldn't line up like that, so I just had to take that stuff out of there first I think of what I did was uh, lined it up made sure that how far out I needed to go with from the the plumbing that I bought to do some adjustments and make sure everything lined up so oh okay I put the lines on the hot and the hot water and the cold water I put those lines on that's the hot water line. Okay. I wasn't going to be able to line everything up like that, so I just set it there where I needed to. There's my mama. Okay, pretty nice looking uh, faucet. So that works. What I ended up doing, I wanted that to be uh, the plunger part or the, to put the uh, water plug, to pulling it up, letting it out, to pushing it in. I wanted the, uh, plunger <clears throat> line to be flush to the bottom of the, the uh, faucet to make it look better. So that's what I ended up doing. It was uh, readjusting that and I did that. And so it's all real nice and flush and everything's pretty. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to put that back in the hole put the putty around there that putty that extra putty I put it around the pipe so uh, nothing can crawl in and out from there like mice or anything like that what they had around it before was the old newspaper which from uh, I guess that was their putty 
of his old newspaper. I don't know what I'm going to go get now, so but I'm pretty sure I'll be back. See how that doesn't go down flush? I readjust it to make sure that it does go down flush on top of that faucet. Oh, I went and got some more putty to put around the plumber's putty, is what they call it. There's my mommy. We got her. It was her birthday on January 1st. She was a New Year's baby. So she got all kind of gifts, and she was the first baby born in 1932 in Superior, Wisconsin. So she got all kinds of gifts and bank accounts and all kinds of things for babies. There's the dirty in my back of my head. So put the putty around there, all around there. That's good. It's good and sealed around there. Now, those beers that my brother and I have are... Steve made a pledge that we weren't going to shave or cut our hair until we got our 671 Detroit diesel engine started and we're rebuilding it. And some of the videos that we have, you can see where uh, we're doing that, trying to get the engine rebuilt and, and hiring people. And it seems like they can never come through with helping us so we're we're doing it ourselves and reading about it and learning about a diesel engine which we are not mechanics but when we get that engine started we're gonna shave and cut our hair just getting parts i'm probably going to get a i don't know what i'm getting another wrench i guess has our dog burble he loves catching frisbees. There's Alizé. She's she's a sweetheart. She likes to be with us everywhere we are at. So we're a tight family. Okay. These things are uh, they're not difficult to figure out, but they're time consuming, and you got to get have the right stuff. So I guess you just keep trying. Okay, so still putting the putty around it. Now I'm going to get the line there and stick it in the hole. I ended up having to cut some of that stuff off. And uh, we're getting to a point where the original soundtrack is going to be coming back here in a minute or two. So... Uh, <laughs> When you get to be my age, everything is painful. I tell you what, I was straining hard. My back was hurting. My neck was hurting. I had to go get adjusted. <laughs> go practically to a chiropractor after climbing up from underneath that hole. The two little sides were way too small for me to get through. So, here you go. I think we're going to have my soundtrack back here in just a shake of a lamb's tail and so i'm gonna be signing off thanks for listening subscribe and like i think this goes this, this way goes this way and this goes in here this there's that other piece into the thing that goes like that so this has got to go in here as far as you can get it like that and this goes up in here and this has got to go in there further and it's not wanting to so maybe that's too long. 
Let's see, because that's got to go. That ain't going to reach. I might need to cut this off a little bit. I'm not, I might have to cut both those off a little bit. I think I've got to cut this off. And the other one. I've got to cut this one off. See, that's can't jam it up here. I think I'll cut it off about here, maybe an inch or so. Why don't you get it the same length as this one? Well, yeah, I think that's what I was going to do is cut it off about there. And then this one I need to cut off too. So I need to cut both of them off. Oh. Since you already got it in there, well, I'll just use the sawzall, or maybe even a sawzall. That's pretty rough. Jigsaw, maybe. I'm going to cut this off about there. Should go down to about let's see. I'm gonna have to cut that off. Um, how whatever this distance is, that's what I gotta cut that off as. So what is that about an inch? I'll cut this off about an inch. Just guessing here. <laughs> Too much. No. I'm guessing where I can't see it's too dark in there. Did it already? Yeah. I think that'll work. Placing this one. <laughs> I don't either. <sighs> Beautiful. Yeah, okay. Come on there, baby. This is. <sighs> okay, got that one on there. Got this one on there. This one, this one's gonna be the trick, I think. Come on, there. You get it? Yeah, it's tight. Okay. They're all tight. You wanna check and see if there's any leaks? Yeah, turn it on. Thank you. Okay, let's see if there's any leaks down here. Is that leaking right there? Where? Running down right there. No, that's just the that's just the shiny. shiny. I don't see it leaking. Do you? No. Cool. Alright. I got a headache now. <laughs> that works good. Be careful. Pushing it up against the wall like that. <laughs> See, this was over there like that, so it was just had a space. That's it. Not leaking, right? Nope. Come 
on, we're in here. She's ready for bed. That's not leaking around there or anything. Well, I guess it did a good job. Well, that's amazing. This is, you can't have that out like that. Well, then you're gonna have to move it over and back. It works. Done.